Hello everyone, this is Gene from Mahalo.com and I'm going to be showing you today how to use the sharpen tools that come with the Photogene app for your Apple iPad. Open up an image in Photogene and then we'll begin by tapping the Adjustments button on the main menu at the bottom of the screen. Once the Adjustments menu slides open from the right hand side, if we either scroll the menu up or simply close the color correction menu, the very next section is the Sharpen Denoise menu. Sharpening an image is often referred to as unsharp masking. The name comes from the process in which the sharpening is achieved. Technically speaking, the software produces a blurred image of your photo and applies that over the original image. It then calculates the difference between the two and subtracts that information from the original image based on your settings. All you really need to know is that this technique makes your image appear more crisp. Photogene includes a basic set of sharpening tools. There's the sharpen amount and the sharpen radius, and then you have the luminance denoise and the chroma denoise. The sharpen amount essentially affects the contrast, or difference in color, between neighboring pixels or objects in your image, and the sharpen radius controls the distance that is included in this comparison. The sliders can be manipulated by dragging your finger along the line, or by simply tapping a position on it. Digital images are made up of hundreds of tiny little dots called pixels. If we move the amount slider all the way to its maximum setting on the right, you can see that it basically made every pixel in the image stand out from just about every other pixel. Now if we adjust the sharpen radius slider, you can see that instead of comparing every pixel to every other pixel, we're now comparing groups of pixels to other groups of pixels and the image remains sharp, but the areas of sharpness are much larger. We have lost some of the color data and our image actually looks a bit blurry. Usually, a combination of the two settings, drawn slightly to the right, will sharpen the image sufficiently without distorting it. Next, we have the luminance denoise and the chroma denoise. Luminance is a unit of measure that applies to the amount of light in a subject. Think of this measure as pure white being 100% luminance and pure black being 0% luminance. With that in mind, the function of the luminance denoise slider is to compare all of the light in adjacent areas of the image and average them out. Photogene allows us to move the slider to roughly a 3% luminance denoise setting. The chroma denoise slider does the same thing, but for the color in the image. As we move the slider to the right, it averages out all of the color in the photo. White and blue areas adjacent to one another both become light blue. If we could adjust the slider further to the right, they would both be exactly the same color, but Photogene only grants us a 5% maximum. If you play around with a combination of these four settings, you can smooth out imperfections in your image, remove camera noise, and make your photo look more crisp. Experimentation is always the best way to learn, so I encourage you to really play around with all the settings in Photogene. If you mess up, you can always tap the original button at the top of the screen to reset your image. That's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and email any requests you may have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.